Hey everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and welcome to Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. In this series of videos, we're gonna take a personal look at Cricut Design Space and all the different pieces that go into it that you can use to make the perfect project. So let's take a look at what today's installment is all about. So in this installment, we're gonna take a look on how to insert an image into the design space and a search for that perfect image. Now, as I've said in many videos, the first thing you want to do is log into your Cricut account. The reason this is important is any images you own, or if you're part of the subscription service, you'll want to log in to make sure you have access to all of those images. Once you've logged in, it will take you back to the homepage of Design Space. We're gonna go ahead and start a new project so we can look for images. Now on the left hand side, you're going to see insert images. Let's go ahead and click that now. This is going to bring up over 50,000 images in the Cricut library, plus any images you've already uploaded into Design Space. Now Cricut's done a fabulous job on making this an easy way to look for images and they've added some great features here. The first feature I want to bring your attention to is the size of the thumbnails. As you can see, there is a lot of images on the screen. However, if you want to see those a little bit bigger and be able to see all the information, over here there is a view larger option. By selecting this, it will go ahead and make your thumbnails larger, which will give you much more detail and easier to read information. I also want to draw your attention to the information bar on all the images. That bar is on the lower part of the image and has a lot of useful information. It's going to let you know if this image has a cost, if it is a free image, if it's an image you've purchased, or if it's an image that's part of the subscription service which you might be a part of. The other option it will give you is a little eye. This is going to bring up specific image information. This will let you know the name of the image, the Cricut stock number, it will let you know what cartridge it's from, and it will let you buy that single image. Now there is a way to buy an entire cartridge and we'll show you that in just a minute. Another feature on the information tab is a little printer icon. This will let you know if this is a print and cut image and this process will require you to print the image on your home computer and then cut it on your Cricut Explorer. Now when searching for an image, you have a couple of different options. We can either go into the search bar and look up a specific keyword. So if we search teddy bear, that's going to bring up all of the images that have that tag word teddy bear. This also includes any images you've uploaded and assigned a teddy bear keyword. That's why it's so important when you're uploading images into Cricut Design Space that you use the tag option to take all of the keywords that you might think are useful to find that image. So now let's take a look on other ways you can look for images. Underneath categories, Cricut has done an amazing job on giving you some categories to look for images. Under the feature tab, you have free this week. Every week, Cricut features a set and makes it free for you to use in Cricut Design Space. You also have a tab for most popular. This will go over all the most popular images and cartridges in Design Space. And then my favorite, which is recently added, this will be any new images, digital images, or cartridges that Cricut has recently released. Now, under the categories, this is awesome. They have taken every single image and categorized it based on a tag word. So if you're doing a baby project and you need to know all of the images in Cricut Design Space that are baby, you can select that and this will bring up all of the images that have that tag word baby. Once again, this is why it's so important to give your images those tag words so it will be part of this category. As you can see, it is also giving you a little box with baby. This means that now whatever you do within the screen will be baby related. So as you can see now in our search box, it says search in baby. So if I look up girl, it will search for anything to do with the tag words baby and girl and bring up those specific images. Now let's go back to the categories tab. One of the other great things they've done is they've separated by brands. So if you're looking for specifically Disney images, we can go and select that brand 
and that will bring up all of the Disney images in Cricut Design Space. Once again, as you can see that box is there letting you know you're under the category of Disney Pixar. So if we search in Disney and Pixar, and let's say I search for monster, this is going to bring up any images that are of a monster related on the Disney Pixar cartridges. So obviously it's going to bring up a lot of the monster ink on Best of Pixar. Once again, to get out of this, we're going to click the X and that's going to bring us back to our categories. Now let's take a look at one of my favorite parts of searching for an image, which is cartridge. This is going to bring up all of the cartridges and image sets that Cricut has released. It's in alphabetical order and it's going to give you a little bit of information. So for example, the birds on parade, it's going to show you sampling of any font and images. It's going to let you know how many images are on that cartridge and it's going to let you know if you've purchased it, if it's a subscription, free, or if you need to buy it. So if we go to this birds on parade, and I hit view all 124 images, it's going to bring up all of the images on the three birds on parade. I would like to draw your attention once again that now we are under the category of three birds on parade. So anytime we search within this, it's only going to search that cartridge. So if I look up Christmas, it's going to bring up the images on that cartridge that are Christmas related. So as you can see, there are seven images that relate to Christmas on the three birds on parade. Now if I click that X again, it's going to reset it and go back to my cartridges. Because I still have Christmas up here in the search box, it's going to bring up all of the cartridges that are Christmas related. All I need to do is highlight that, hit my delete button, hit the enter button, and it resets me back. Now as you can see as we scroll down, you're going to see all of the different images that you're either subscribed or purchased. Every once in a while, you're going to see here, this all mixed up is $29.99. I do not own this cartridge, so if I want to view the images, I would hit view all 14 images, and it's going to bring up all of the images, and it will give me the option to buy this. I can either buy this as a single image by hitting the I and then buy image, or I can do the buy entire subscription set, which will normally be right here. Once again, I just hit this X and it takes me back to my main cartridge. Now there's one other great way to search for images and I'm going to go ahead and tell, show you that now. We're going to go back to the all image. As you can see next to the search box, there is a funnel and this will literally funnel down your images to a specific type. You have it searched by ownership, type, and layers. Ownership is basically who owns that image? Are these my images that I've actually purchased? Images that I've uploaded using the upload image tab? Are these free images? Are they images that are part of the subscription or images I've literally purchased? So if I was to go to upload, this will bring up all of the images I've uploaded. So this will be where a lot of my SVG images are or images I bought from a third party source. Now if I go back to that funnel and unclick on that, it will go back to my main screen. I can also take a look at all of the images that are part of this subscription service just by clicking that. So this is a great way to categorize and find out where your images are. So if you know you're looking for an image that you don't own but it's part of the subscription service, you can do that. Now let's take a look at the type. The type is different in the fact that categories is searching by keyword, where type is going to break it down on what type of image it is. You can look at 3D objects, backgrounds and textures, borders, cards and envelopes, frames, phrases, and the most popular, which is printables. And let's take a look at the printables. Printables is going to bring up all of the print then cut images. So this is a great way if you're looking for those print then cut to go here and this will give you all of the images. And you'll know it's a print and cut because once again, you see this little tiny icon that lets you know, hey, this is a print and cut image. So the last category I want to take a look at under the filter option is layers. So if we go to layers, we can take a look at if an image has a single layer or a multi-layer. 
So if we select the single layer, this is going to bring any images that you're only going to have to cut one layer. So this is going to be your print and cut and anything as you can see, like this here only has one layer. There's not multiple layers. Now, if we were to go and take that off and go to multi-layer, this is going to bring up all of the images that require multiple layers for you to complete your project. So this is going to be something that has, as you can see, this has two layers. Uh, other images might have four layers. So it will bring up all of the images that have multiple layers so that way you can search within just multiple layers. So now that we've looked at how to search for images and all the different types, now we can actually insert an image into Design Space. And it's really easy to do. All you need to do is go ahead and find the image that you want to use. And let's go ahead and use this one here. And down here you see Insert Images. Once you click that, it's going to come into Design Space. And at this point, you are ready to edit your image and add it to your project. Well, I hope you learned something new in that installment of Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. If you haven't seen all the videos in this series, make sure to click the playlist on your screen now. You'll be taken to the playlist with the collection of the entire Roadmap to Cricut Design Space videos. Also, if you haven't checked out my print to cut videos, make sure to click this playlist now. This will give you an inside look of how to calibrate your machine, update your firmware, and get your machine ready for print to cut. Alright, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Thanks.